Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today is all about an easy steak taco with a homemade griddle salsa. You guys wanna see how we do it? Here we go. All right, to get started, I have a flat iron steak. We're gonna chop this up. The idea today for the steak tacos is simply two ideas. Let's focus really, really, really a lot on the meat. How to get the meat really, really good, and we're gonna do a, like a griddle style salsa. Okay, so those are my two focuses. So steak tacos, and let's start with the flat iron steak. All right, whether it be a flat iron steak, skirt steak, or even that, uh, what's that meat that we saw the other day that we want to try out? Uh, flap steak, uh, what was it called? Costco? It, it was called flap. Flap, flap steak, flat flap meat. Flap yeah. beef yep. or something. So we're gonna try that out pretty soon. So we have done fajitas in the past, and the idea with fajitas, I kept the meat uh, whole and tried to marinate it so that way you can get a fantastic crust. I'm just looking here and I'm just seeing some silver skin that I know for a fact we're not gonna like to eat. So I'm gonna take that out. Um, and we marinated it whole, and then we just chopped it up in, I don't know, maybe like yay size big. Uh, that way we could sear it off really well. This is a whole different method. This is the idea of incorporating as much flavor as possible, especially when you're doing a taco. You have very limited uh, space to infuse a lot of flavor. So the idea is we're going to first find the grains, cut against the grains, and then cut these into bite-sized pieces to begin with. So the grains are running this way. So I'm going to slice it like this. Now that we went one way, I'm just gonna come back and kind of like do bite-sized pieces about like that. Try to incorporate as much flavor as possible by opening this meat up and getting it ready for the marinade. All right, we're using the La Griddle again, that stainless steel griddle. If you guys haven't checked out the review, we have that available. I just wanna caution you every single time I use it, this is not the same thing as a rolled steel, whether it be the Weber, the Blackstone, Pit Boss, Camp Chef, Traeger, Halo, you name it. Stainless steel is completely different. I just wanna get that out there because there's still a lot of people, even today that are coming in the griddle group about, you know, should I do this, should I do that? And it just, it tears me up to see the responses. So it does take a while to heat. So we're gonna get this started. I'm just looking about the amount of meat that we have. I'm just guessing. So I'm just gonna do like a quarter of an onion. Just give it a, sm ooh, whew. Um, we're just gonna give this a small dice so it matches the beef. And then when it cooks up, the onion will be inside there. To that, just a couple glugs of W sauce, steak and W sauce, kind of like mirror each other. Just a little bit of lemon juice. I'm just eyeballing it because I'm going to split lemon juice and lime juice for that freshness. Two cloves of fresh garlic. You can mince it, you can slice it, you can chop it any way you want to. You guys know what happens if you find a bottle that has no label on it with a seal label on there. Hint, hint. Just use your favorite seasoning. You can make your own. We kind of did. Just give this a mix. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it right here because I want this packed with flavor. A hair more. And just top this off with just a little bit of oil. I'm using avocado oil. There we go. That looks perfect to me. All right, we're gonna let this marinate. We're gonna start working on our griddle style salsa. Simply enough, we have some Roma tomatoes, a jalapeno, and a yellow onion. And we're gonna get those sliced up and then put on the griddle to char. So let's do it like that. Nice surface area. Same thing with jalapeno, I'm gonna keep the seeds in there. We can dig those out if we need to. And the pith, because that's where the heat's at. And then the onion. Let's quarter that one. Mm. That's probably enough onion right there. Remember, regular thermometers don't work on these. 
So I'm just testing the griddle, not hot enough, which is fine. We can let that heat up just a little bit more. See the difference? I've got this on low and this about a medium. See the difference of the reactions? Do you ever feel like we should buy stock in a garlic farm? <laughs> <laughs> go through a lot of garlic and onions. I have to admit, it seems like we go through a ton of onions. Griddle's up to temp. Uh, just split the grill in half, just a little avocado oil for that high heat oil. Give that a smudge. You know, if your oil is smoking, you're above 450 degrees. Another telltale sign. Skin side down or cut side down. Jalapeno, onion. And we're gonna hold off on the garlic until this is cooked a lot more so we don't burn the garlic. This doesn't take long. I'll show you what we're looking for. Ooh, hockey pucks, that color right there. See that color we're looking for? That's what I'm looking for. Vegetables are almost done. Like I mentioned, we're just adding just a little bit of oil there. Be careful, you don't want to burn your garlic. But you do want some color. Get that fragrant. Oh yeah, you smell Ooh, it right away. Yeah. Yep. Mm. While that's going, we have our food processor. Everything in the pool. Take that tip off. She has begged me to take these seeds out. So I'm just gonna work around that. Comes out a lot easier, I think, when you cook it. All right, nice fat pinch of salt. Some fresh lime. I like the cilantro, so I use typically a little bit more than normal. And we're gonna pulse this up. At this point, if you want it smooth, keep going. If you want it uh, chunky, you can leave it there. Whatever you want, whatever floats your boat. Mm. Mm. Ooh, that's good. A bit more lime. You never know how much juice comes in a lime, so always prepare for a little bit more. You want yours chunky or thin? Speak now or ever hold your peace. And there we go. A fresh griddle style salsa go perfectly with that steak. Downhill from here. It's a very easy idea, very easy recipe, max flavor. You can see that the right side's smoking. That means we're very hot heat. I've got the low side over here because we're gonna be able to move that steak off if we need to. Just a little bit of oil to protect us. Paint it smells good. Mm. I'm gonna spread it out a little bit, but I'm kind of gonna leave it alone. I kind of want it to develop that Maillard reaction, that char, and I don't want to touch it too much. Notice how I'm using that moisture from the steak to clean the griddle. We've talked about that on the other griddles but it doesn't happen often. You can see how easy it comes up when you hit the moisture. And that's what I'm looking for, all that juice. That was super fast. Yeah, and really quickly. So everything's on low. I can actually just go and turn it off right now. 
and I'll show you really quickly how I would clean a stainless steel so it's pretty close to the same idea. I know what you're thinking, why not throw it in the grease trap? Because if you don't have to, one less thing you gotta clean. Still too hot to use this. I'll let it cool down, we'll be able to use it with abrasive and it should come out looking something like that. When I say abrasive, I mean this is just a scotch Bright. This is not a grill screen or anything like that. See how it comes right up? But you need to let you make sure your grill's cooled down just a little bit. It's too hot for me and I ain't worried about it. Let's go make some tacos. Plenty of residual heat left over. I'm just warming up some uh, flour tortillas. All right, that steak is looking absolutely fantastic. Juicy, flavorful. Tortillas are nice and warmed. However you top it is completely up to you. You wanna make a cilantro and avocado crema? Go ahead. You wanna do lettuce and tomato and sour cream like a Suprema? Go ahead. However you do it, it's up to you. Let's get to the basics first. And I think we accomplished that. This steak is fantastic. And I don't think it's necessarily because the season we used, hint, hint. I think it's more or less the, um, the technique. You know, cut it against the grain first, cutting it smaller, marinating it out of the um, more seasoning the surface area than it is just the seasoning itself. That griddle style salsa. Obviously you do your pickled vegetables like radish, jalapenos, whatever you want to add. Just keeping it simple. All right, as I mentioned, simple, simple, simple. Let the ingredients sing for what they are. How you top it after here is up to you. As much as I love Mexican food, I would probably say that I am the person that overdoes it. Like I want it all. I want the cheese sauce, I want the rice, I want the beans, I want the pico, the salsa, you name it. But when you dumb things down, and that's typically how it goes in food in general, I let each ingredient kind of like shine on itself. You'll be amazed how good something is. This is world class. I wish I could make very, 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 very good homemade flour tortillas. I can make good ones, but not like, I mean, these aren't great. I'm just saying in general. I wish I could make fantastic tortillas because it would just up it a notch, but... These are dang good. Mmm. Ah. Uh, mmm. 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 That homemade salsa just complements it. That's good. That steak is tender. Yeah. Super tender. Mmm. For a flat iron steak, that's. Mmm. <laughs> okay. Good job, kid. <laughs> good job, baby. What about you? That's like the easiest video we've done in a long time, I feel like. It was really easy. If I knew I could make better tortillas than what I typically make, then I would have made homemade tortillas. But sometimes they just crack. I don't know. I, don't, I can't get them soft all the time. Like they, they dry up a little bit. But I've added more fat. I've added more liquid. And I've let them rest longer. Who knows? If you guys are interested, hit that join button down below. to membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. Check us on Instagram or check us out on Facebook, The Griddle Group. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pound the notification button. Share it with your friends. Keep it simple, stupid. K-I-S-S. -S, I'm telling you. Mm. Sometimes it's worth it. And this is one of them. That's super good. Mm. Good job, babe. Yeah, that's good. Oh.